hello everyone welcome back to transcended institute in this particular video we are going to be doing question 5 of the 2023 gce biology paper 2 let's get into it so question 5 reads a homophiliac mother had two sons who are both homophiliac the father was non homophiliac question 5a says define the term homophilia Okay, so homophilia is a genetic disorder that impairs the body's ability to make blood clots. Okay, it's a sex linked which occurs on the sex chromosomes. Just to define it, we're going to say it is a genetic disorder. Genetic disorder that impairs... that impairs the body's ability to make blood impairs the body's the body's ability to make blood to make blood clots okay So it is important for blood to clot in some scenarios if you have been involved in an accident but then when you are homophiliac your body cannot respond to um, the platelets that help your blood to clot okay which is very dangerous because now you will be bleeding non-stop okay so it also says you can have two points actually you can also say it is a sex linked crumb uh, it is a sex linked which occurs on sex chromosomes. It is sex linked and occurs occurs on sex chromosomes. Okay, and then we have question 5b which says you using letters x to the power small letter h and x to the power big h write down the genotypes of the b1 father b2 mother okay so let me take you to this page um, this is how it's going to be so we have been told uh, we are using X H and X H okay so a normal female a normal female is going to be X H X H okay and then a carrier female A carrier female is going to be X H X H and then the hemophilia female hemophilia like female is going to be X with a small H X with a small h okay and then a normal male a normal male is going to be X with a big H Y remember males have X and Y chromosomes so that's the Y and then a homophilia man hemo male is going to be X with a small H and Y okay therefore for question 5b um, 5b1 the father is going to be X H Y so the father is okay and then the mother 
is hemophiliac which is going to be like this okay or we can write it here as well which is x h and then y and then here it's going to be x h and then x h again okay and then for question 5c we're going to say using a genetic diagram explain why both boys were homophiliac okay so i uh, will use another new page okay so we've been told the parents parents so we are going to say father's blood times mother's blood or crossing with mother's blood okay and then phenotype the phenotype which is a normal male crossing with a hemo I don't think I'll have enough space, so I'll just write him or female. Okay, and then the genotype. Genotype. We have the normal male genotype, which is X capital H Y multiplied by um, X small h x small h which is for a hemophiliac female okay and then we have the gametes so the gametes we pretty much just separate these which is going to be x with capital h and then y and then x small h x small h and if you want, you can even put these in circles like this. Okay, and then now we cross breed these. So we are going to match um, the X capital H from the male to the one at the female. And we're going to match it again. To the other side and then we'll get this and match it here and match it again at the <coughs> far end okay so this is going to be called the f1 genotype genotype okay so when you combine this and this we're going to find um, x h x h and then this and this we're going to find x capital h x small h and then this and this we're going to find x small h y and then y and this we're going to find x capital uh, small letter h and y so uh if you have noticed here i was starting with the x h because it's the x y chromosome sorry the x h and then the y because it's usually the x y chromosome so it's preferred you put it that way but if you're going to put it the other way around it's also okay okay so we're going to go to the f1 phenotype phenotype I should have just brought this down let me erase this part okay so the F1 phenotype is going to be here this is a carrier female female same with here, 
Zacharia, female. And then here it's going to be a hemophiliac male. Hemo male. Same applies here. So this actually explains why both the signs for this woman were hemophiliac. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel so that you see the other videos that I'm going to make. And also leave a comment in the comment section for the videos that you want to see. Thank you very much.